Hi, kids. In the last lesson, we learned what is adding and subtracting one. Today, we will learn what is adding and subtracting zero. So, let's start with adding zero. Two balls are drawn here. I don't draw any more balls. How many balls are drawn in all now? Let's count. One, two. So there are two balls now. That is, by adding zero ball or no ball, the number of balls remain the same. Also, adding zero means adding none. We also write this as two balls plus zero balls or no balls equals two, two balls. Good. Now let's take another example. There are three apples in the basket. I do not put any more apples in the basket. How many apples are there in all of them? Let's count. One, two, three. So again, three apples are there in the basket. That is, by adding zero apple or no apple, number of apples remain the same. Also, adding zero means adding none. We can write it as three apples plus zero apples or no apples equals to three apples or three plus zero equals three. Good! Now, let's take another example. There are six pencils in the stand. I put no more pencils in the stand. How many pencils are there in the stand now? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six pencils again in the stand now. That is, by adding zero pencil or no pencil, number of pencils remain the same. Also, adding zero means adding none. So we can write it as six pencils plus zero pencil or no pencil equals six pencils. Also, six plus zero equals six. Good! Now we will learn subtracting zero. Let's start with an example. Two balls are drawn here. If I do not erase any, how many balls will be left? Let's count. One, two. So, two balls are left. That is, by subtracting zero ball or no ball, the number of balls remain the same. Also, subtracting zero means subtracting none. We can write it as two balls minus zero ball or no balls equals two balls or two minus zero equals two. 
Let's take another example. There are three apples in the basket. If I take out no apple or none from the basket, how many apples are left? Let's count. One, two, three. So three apples are left in the basket. That is zero apple or no apple. The number of apples remains the same. So subtracting zero means subtracting none. So we can write it as subtracting zero apple or no apples, we get three apples. Or three minus zero equals three. Good! So what have we learned? We have learned that when we include no more things in a set of things, we say we are adding zero things. And the number of things remain the same. And when we remove nothing from a set of things, we say we are subtracting zero things. And the number of things remains the same. So adding or subtracting zero things does not change the number of things. Good! Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.